uh, dropping resistance to pleasure actually it is something that um, it is the core of addiction and um, it is the core of the basic spiritual work um, so I think anyone who's fortunate enough to go to lots of 12-step fellowships um, has the lucky experience and vocabulary and wisdom of the groups of going through what they call withdrawal um, you know, so food withdrawal, like I love eating donuts and cakes and chocolates and binging out on fast food. Uh, okay, I mean, it is my primary addiction. Uh, I haven't indulged in it for 15 years, uh, but um, uh, it's um, so it's the, uh, that one is the seven deadly film. That's gluttony, isn't it? Yeah, gluttony. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can have drugs, alcohol, sex, all kinds of things, and all kinds of weird things that are quite um, bizarre. Could be a handbag addiction. <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, yes, uh, uh, dr dropping, um, what was the question? Drop, uh, drop, re drop resistance to pleasure. Um, well, it's not the re resistance, but it's the addiction to pleasure. If you uh, if you resisted pleasure, then you'd go through withdrawal. You know, I mean, uh, so like uh, if I see donuts and just indulge in them nonstop, that that's indulging my addictions and not resist not resisting. But if I resist the addiction, then I'll go into withdrawal. Uh, my ego will be just very unhappy. Like uh, I want those donuts now. You can't, and you're depriving me of these donuts. So it'll moan, it'll, it, you go through the withdrawal phase, a bit like the grief phase. And then, you know, uh, and and, um, and your, your ego mopes around in self-pity and pain for however long it takes. It depends on how big the addiction is. Uh, and, then, and then you start to connect to the spiritual fields eventually, and you start to feel neutrality and you start to feel happy and you start to feel... Like, I don't know why I was so insane that I was eating donuts to the extent of obesity and kidney failure and uh, seems like a dumb idea now. So the same with alcohol, drugs, sex addiction, whatever. Um, you know, in the beginning, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a battle. Um, so, and that's the same. Actually, that goes on the gross level addictions. So it can be to drugs, alcohol, sex, um, and then on the and then when you get to advanced levels, it can be things like thoughts and subtle dualities and subtle payoffs of the ego as you get to the more rarefied fields of releasing uh, uh, ego when you get to be a more advanced spiritual student. But uh, I always said I recommend 12 step groups to beginners because I mean, I mean, what's the point of trying to transcend the ego if you're stuck in addi alcohol addiction or something or drug addiction? I mean, you know, you, you you need to stop, you know, the simple things first. Okay, uh, so yes, so uh, and there I'll be doing another video uh, which is slightly more nuanced uh, but related to that. But um, in the beginning, it does feel like resisting the temptation. Uh, and then you go through withdrawal, and people in in addiction are familiar with the withdrawal. Actually, it's good to learn about withdrawal and go through it with several addictions, and then it's actually quite easy to see the general process of surrender. Um, you know, the opposite of surrender is indulging. Uh, so you just uh, you just uh, do it. Oh yes, there there, there is the uh, anyway. I'll stop there for the time being. Um, good question. Okay.